And staying in Abuja, the House of Representatives has directed an immediate halt to the ongoing demolition of offices belonging to aviation agencies at the Mutala Mohammed International Airport. The House Committee on Aviation issued the directive at an investigative hearing with the Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria over the demolition of houses and offices at the Lagos Airport. The managing director of FAN insists most of the structures demolished encroached on the airport's, airport's red zone. He said out of 254 structures, 220 do not pose a critical challenge, but 34 were built within the airport's perimeter fence. But the lawmakers were not pleased with the explanation. These areas were marked as the red zone. Most of the residents cooperated, except for a few who ignored and continued erecting their structures in the red zones. In the committee's report submitted in 2022, out of 252 buildings evaluated, 254 evaluated, 220 buildings were recommended for regularization. The minister should stop the further demolition. That is our position. The minister should stop further demolition. The government is a continuum. The government is a continuum. If you are not there, another person will come and continue from where you stop. We have a lot of issues with fan because we don't know how they will sell fan properties. Where are the properties? Who's to who? These are major issues that need to be answered.